The hologram is like a lens. It takes the light, we capture the light that's reflected from the object and record the way it was reflected off of the object and then reconstruct the way that happens. So what we're doing is, is in these masters, they're kind of like the photo negatives and uh, from them we can make the transfers. And these two pieces I'll show you. The, you can see it's hard to get this aligned a little bit because we're holding them. We have to find the exact reference angle for these because the hologram has to be illuminated by the laser at the same angle that the reference beam was. If I tip it off, it goes away. So you can see now and that we have all angles of view recorded as though she was actually sitting there. This is exactly as though the light was when it reflected off of her and making the hologram. I, I was exploring the idea of looking at the form and I was looking at the, at the form and what I liked in this case is I wanted to, I like this form with her hands up and I like the echoing quality in the way the hands, there's actually a space that's created by the three forms together. So what, in this case it's not the form you see but it's the, the space created by these three angles of view, straight on, left and right. And so there's actually a space in the middle and I accent that or I talk about that here if I go fast you can begin to get a feel of that form. I like this hologram and it was actually an, uh, an accidental shot. We shot this hologram and it, what I got fascinated with is, 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 is if forgetting to see that these are two figurative spaces or forms but it's literally the canyon of the three-dimensional space in between these figures that I liked. What I've done with this is I've played with the idea of these two-dimensional forms on the surface of the hologram. This is the surface. And the figurative volumetric forms actually come through and are back in behind this hologram. And the color is blended, but the colors you see in these shapes blend to make a color mixing. And the, uh, a frame of reference, because you can actually, as you move, you can reference the two-dimensional aspects with this three-dimensional sort of canyon of figurative space created by these two figures in this virtual space. Paul's telegraphy, if it had been cheap, would have probably transformed the way holography is being done today. The trouble with Paul's holograms is the pulse laser, and the pulse laser is very expensive, and not that many people have had a chance to work with it. And a number of people now are exploring the idea of doing real-time motion and interactive things. And what I think, I, th I see a really strong marriage between the instantaneous recording of pulse lasers, avoiding the need for all the weird optical equipment and expensive things. And when that is married or connected with a series of images that can be collected together, we're going to see a, a, a combination of moving imagery that can be recorded instantaneously without stability problems.